All right, this is the podcast for STEM biology. This is section one, introduction to ecology. Um, so basically the first thing we need to do is define ecology. Ecology is the study of interactions that take place between organisms and their environment. It basically can explain how living organisms affect each other and the world that they live in. Um, a key term that we talk about in ecology is interdependence. In interdependence, species interact with both other species and they interact with the non-living environment. One change in a species or with the non-living environment can affect all species in the ecosystem. We are all interdependent on each other. For example, we could not survive without plants and water. Why? Because plants produce oxygen, water is needed for our cells. Another example of interdependence is here. Every year, Every few years, oak trees produce a lot of acorns, while deer feed on these acorns. So, because of that, the population of deer may increase. If the population of deer increase, ticks feed on the blood of those animals, so the tick population would increase. If the tick population increases, that would increase the chances of the tick transmitting the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. So, basically, because the oak trees produce more acorns, we could get more Lyme disease. All right, another concept in ecology is the levels of organization. It's a complete, a complete study of ecology would look at these different levels of organization of the environment. Um, they recognize a hierarchy of organization in the environment. There are five levels that we need to know. There actually are more, but five for just ecology. First one is the organism. The organism is the simplest level of organization in ecology. This level concentrates on the adaptations that organisms have to overcome challenges in their environment. For example, a zebra, that would be an organism. Next level above that, if you take a whole bunch of organisms and put them together, you have a population. A population is a second level of organization. It includes all the members of a species that live in one place at one time. So a whole bunch of zebras living together at the same time. If you take a whole bunch of different organisms, you have community. That is a third level of organization. They are all the interacting organisms that live in an area. It's very complex. It contains thousands of species. The focus on a community is how these species interact with each other and how these interactions influence the community as a whole. So not only do you have the population of zebras, you have a population of other organisms, including the plants. Next level above this, the fourth level of organization is an ecosystem. An ecosystem is all the organisms, but you're also including the non-living component of the environment that's found in a particular place. So you're including the sun, the air, the ground, the soil, etc. And the last level of organization is the biosphere. It's a fifth level. It's the most inclusive level, which means it's the most general, the biggest. Um, thin volume of earth and its atmosphere that supports life is an example of the biosphere. Living things are not distributed evenly, obviously, through a biosphere. Okay. So here is a pictorial demonstration, a picture of the um, levels of organization. Biosphere is the most inclusive, the largest, and then you work down from that ecosystem. So there's a bunch of ecosystems in a biosphere. There are a bunch of communities in an ecosystem. There are a bunch of populations in the community. There's a bunch of organisms in the population, and then organism would be the most the simplest.